Well, it's the first drive. I wouldn't say it affected the whole game. I mean, we we wanted to come out and get a great start, which has been kind of the formula we've used the last seven weeks. They're an awfully good football team, and you can't make mistakes against a team like that. And, um, you know, we, we made a couple mistakes at first drive, um, tackling and things like that, and, and they made the plays. Give credit to them. But, uh, you know, I'm really proud of our guys because we never gave up. And, uh, you know, and I think that uh, says a lot about the character of the guys we have here. I'd say it's very close to their 2012 team that got all the way to the national championship. I think they, they're they big, physical. Obviously, they got a good running back, very good running back, good skilled people. Their defense is smothering. I think they're, uh, they're a very, very good football team. Josh, Sam, could you talk a little bit about the feeling of walking over the field for the last time? It's obviously difficult. You know, these are like your brothers. The last four years, you know, you've through all the off-season workouts, all the on-field games, and uh, you know it obviously stings. It's one of the hardest things you ever have to do walk off the field for the last time. So um, it's obviously difficult. Yeah, I mean, same as Josh said. Uh, I love all the guys I've played with these last four years. Uh, it's definitely why I came here just to be with these guys. So it's definitely tough to be out here the last game, but it, it's kind of good to know that we put everything out there. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we talked all week about getting a great start, and that's what we've been doing these last seven weeks. And, and um, you know, a good team will take you out of some of those things. And, you know, again, give credit to them. Uh, they made the plays, and they outplayed us today. They were a better team today. And, and um, you know, we've beaten them twice up here in the last two years, and um, we've done it using a per pretty good formula, and that's uh, uh, taking care of the football and uh, running the football. And when you can do that, uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. And um, today and the earlier earlier game against them this season, we haven't been able to do that. And, uh, um, you know, so give credit to them. And you mentioned the running game. I mean, they came out in that first drive and threw out the first half to Robert running the ball. I mean, is that, again, just a product of what they were doing in the first game, too, with kind of that physical line that they have? Or they well, I mean, uh, their, their formula is pretty similar to ours, I think. Uh, they want to run the football. And, and uh, you know, take time off the clock and and things like that. You can, when you can control the line of scrimmage, you can do you can win a lot of football games. And you know, we've proven that over the last couple of years because that's what we've done. You know, we've got two of the best ever at St. John's sitting next to me to my right here uh, with Sam and Josh. Those guys are you know incredible young men and, and great football players, and they've carried us the last couple of years. And um, you know, it can be hard to replace them, but. Again, going back to your question, Frank, I think uh, you know the big thing is um, w if they're able to run the football on teams, uh, they're tough to they're tough to beat. Yeah, 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 Pat, you're not going to win too many games uh, with that, and, and uh, they just really dominated that first half. We were back on our heels after that. Uh, I think after the second touchdown, we felt uh, we were. A little uh, back on our heels, and um, you know, never got really, really into it in that first half. But uh, again, I was um, happy with the fact that we came out in the second half, played much better, and um, you know, we we at least made it a game. I mean, they're big. Uh, they're really quick to the ball. It it's hard to stop a team that that's 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 that fast. Uh, I know that. that that's what our defense tries to do is be super fast and uh, be quicker than the offense. But yeah, they just move well, they flow well, and it, it's hard. If you break off one tackle, there's four more of them right there. So they do that really well. Yeah, again, you know, that perfect formula that you want when you put the game plan together uh, didn't go as planned, obviously. Yeah, we lost Nick early on, 
you know, and that obviously hurt us. He's played so well for us these last seven weeks, as good as any quarterback in our league, I think. And for him to go out and, you know, he begged me to put him back in, but I, there's no way. I mean, I'm not going to do that to a kid. And, and uh, I know he wanted to play desperately, but um, not going to do that. Um, but, yeah, we, you know, we were kind of behind the eight ball right away, you know, and, and just never could catch up to him. So. He had a concussion, well, a slight one. He thought he could have gone back in, but no. No, I wouldn't have given myself that option. You know, Johnny did some good things, obviously, coming in. It's not an easy time to come in when you're down and the team knows you got to throw the football. And um, But, you know, he got us in some plays, made some, some good calls. You know, obviously, the, the interceptions, uh, you know, uh, kept us from from scoring maybe a little bit more, but uh, you know, you got to have two good quarterbacks. We always say you better have a good backup quarterback because there's going to be a time where he's going to be needed. And um, you know, Johnny's been that the last couple of years for us, a very good backup quarterback. So I think he did a great job. I don't know. I'd have to watch a replay of it. I thought I had it, but uh, two of the refs thought I had it too. But I guess that one thought he saw something. So I have to go back and look at the tape. There's always a couple eagle eyes in that group. I don't know if you can print that. Uh, I might get in trouble. Yeah. I don't think they did anything differently, and I, I wouldn't have either. If uh, you know the way that the first game went, uh, I'm sure they thought they could do the same thing, and we expected the same thing. Um, you know, and and um, you know the big the big plays. If you look at a football game, there's we always say there's there's a lot of things that got to happen. But number one, you better be able to run the football. Number two, you better be able to stop the run, and then you can't give up big plays. Well, we gave up some big plays. And we didn't really stop the run, and we couldn't really get our running game going. I mean, they bottled Sam up quite a bit, and um, you know that was, um, you know, when you can't do those things, we're a better team when we're when we're running the football, and we can um, use our play action stuff. And once we got behind, that's not our formula. We're just not a great beat, come from behind team. I don't. They're as good as anybody. I mean, I haven't seen. Uh, I haven't seen Mountain Union other than their scores. And I, you know, I know Whitewater's good again, and Linfield's good. But I got to believe these guys are every bit as good as they are. They'll represent the MIC very well. They really will. We've got great respect for their program. Thank you. Appreciate it.